I guess so. It's perfect! <laughs> Hidden River, here we come! Yeah, about that. When you asked me to go on a road trip, I thought we'd go someplace cool, like Yosemite or the Grand Canyon, even Vegas. I do love an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. Yeah, probably still banned from Treasure Island. So what the heck is in Hidden River? Apparently a river, somewhere. Now let's get the show on the road. Give me the keys. Uh, no, I'll be doing the driving. Your eyes are terrible. If you drive, it'll take forever. Besides, my doctor says I have the eyes of a 75 year old. Oh yeah? How many fingers am I holding up? All of them. Exactly, out of my seat, Stevie Wonder. That is offensive on many levels. I see why you youngsters are addicted to these things. I just got my fourth friend on the Facebook. Oh, well, you'd have five if you accepted my request. I get plenty of you in real life. No, this is for connecting with old, long lost friends. Uh huh. Perhaps some that you'd like to visit? No. Come on, Grammy. This has to be the reason we're heading to the middle of nowhere. Who is it? Uh,. An old neighbor, a sorority sister, an old flame, perhaps? It's none of your business who... Ugh. It's like I'm driving next to Columbo here. Say, pull over. I need a reload on the beat. All right. an old flame. You want me to make you one? No thanks. Suit yourself. Listen, I think I found a faster way to get to Hidden River. We're just gonna need some snow tires and a flare gun just in case. I think let's just stick to our original route. <sighs> Fine. Grammy, I'm sorry I was pushy earlier today. You're entitled to a trip wherever you want. Yes, I am. Besides, why can't you have an adventure without knowing every single little detail? Cut loose, have a s'more, a Cheeto, for goodness sakes. You know what? You're right. I'm gonna get us some more marshmallows. Dinner is served. for your bosom. Where are my ballots? It's not what it looks like. How dare you? Grammy, come on. You invaded my privacy. You're a traitor, and traitors don't get to sleep in the Winnebago. I wasn't reading your letters. Your purse just fell, and I was picking it back up. Baloney! You're snooping into my life because you're incapable of living your own! Excuse me? That is totally unfair! I spent all of my time taking care of you! You couldn't even be on this trip if it wasn't for me! Grammy always finds a way! Can you not throw the food? Oh, you're gonna need to eat at some point! I'm not sleeping out there! I don't have a tent! It's dangerous! What's the worst that could happen? Good enough to drive. Punch buggy! Okay, 
You know that that wasn't a bug, your eyes are fine. Exactly. Hey, look, it's a hitchhiker. People still do that? People aren't afraid of adventure yet. Pull over. I mean, she'll slow us down. And she could be an axe murderer. Or she could be a welcome buffer between you and me. Pull over! Hey, I'm Blessing. I'm Fran, but everybody calls me Grammy. You cool if I smoke in the back? Only if you share. Let's go. Right on. You're awesome. So I was gonna like make all these sweaters for the homeless until one day the owners come back and they're like, you're just a squatter, stop shaving all of our animals. And I'm like, you don't even live here that often. And that's how I lost my alpaca farm. Tragic tale. Oh! It just made me realize, like, what is property anyway? You know, like, why do people think they can own things? Yeah, some people can get so protective of their stuff that they fly off the handle if you even look at a letter. I admit, I might have overreacted. I really wasn't trying to snoop. I know. I'm sorry for saying you don't take any chances. You are taking a chance. Only so broad. If you really want to take a chance, let old Leadfoot here behind the wheel. <laughs> no way. I'm getting you to Hidden River in one piece. You can, like, let me off now. Hmm? Well, thanks. Bye. Girl, great grass. I don't get it. It's just a pile of rocks. Yeah, but they're pretty cool rocks. Yeah. Say, we ought to make a pit stop. Rations dangerously low. We're already two thirds. Uh, wait a second. Oh, a third of the way there. Grammy, have you seen my wallet? No, but here, just take mine. Well, that's strange. Blessing. That charlatan, that hooligan. Nobody steals from Grammy and survives. Grammy, calm down. What will we do without our money? Now we'll never get to Hidden River. Well, we're close to our campsite. Let's just get there and we'll regroup. I have to make it, Em. I have to. We'll figure something out, Grammy. I, pr I promise. <laughs> definitely got enough gas money. But if we keep going, I could always call mom. Do not get Barbara Jean involved in this. Grammy, what's going on? Who is this guy? You have to know I loved your grandfather. But Wilfred Angleton was my first and true love. But his parents forbade it. You see, he was heir to the Cracker Jack fortune and I was a garbage person. After I found him on the Facebook, after all of these years, I thought we might finally have a chance. I guess it's not meant to be. Well, the sensible thing to do is head home. So tomorrow, we head to Hidden River. No, dear, we'll run out of money. Then it'll be an adventure. You up for adventure? Always.
Granny. Uh, I need you to drive. Really? You've got this. Go! He doesn't lift up! I thought you didn't believe in stop! Go on, Barry! Where? Go, Barry! Go! Uh, all right! Uh, uh. Prince awaits. You know, this has been fun, but maybe let's just go home. Grammy, I didn't drive a thousand miles, survive a bear attack, and rob a hitchhiker to turn back now. It's just, what if he's dating someone? Or he's a vegetarian? Or, or he just doesn't want anything to do with me. He accepted your friend request, didn't he? Yeah, but he'll be friends with anyone. He has like 45 friends. Grammy, Listen to me. You have been a pain in my ass since you moved in. You're pushy, you're stubborn, and even though you'd never admit to it, I know you eat all my kale chips. Worst pep talk ever, but keep going. You've taught me that if you're not taking chances, you're not really living. You've waited 60 years for this moment. Love is the biggest risk of all, but it's also the biggest adventure, and I know you love adventure. I do. Now get in there and make Wilfred Angleton the happiest man alive. Just help me walk, dear. Okay. <gasps> That's him! He's so tall! He's so handsome! He's so young. Hello, can I help you? Is this still Wilfred Angleton's house? Yes. No. Sorry. I'm his grandson, Jay. Uh, you just missed him. Uh. He, uh, he died. Oh. About a week ago. <sighs> in, a, in a boating accident. Wilfred did love the open sea. Yeah, it was kind of poetic, really. He was a bachelor most of his life, but these last few years he only ever talked about his first love. He even named his boat after her. Anyway, he was on a solo trip to the Bahamas and we got a dispatch from him saying he was turning around and coming home. Said something really important had happened. Whatever it was, was so important he sailed right through a hurricane. In the end, it was just him and the Fran lost at sea. I'm sorry, what were your names again? I'm M, and this is... So sorry for your loss. It was nice to meet you. You too. Take care. He still loved me. Grammy, I'm so sorry. Don't be. What was I going to do? Move to Hidden River and live in this big fancy house? Play shuffleboard and make sweet love in the afternoons? No. It's enough to know that he cared about me and I'm not just some silly old fool. You want to go home? Yeah. Let's hit the road. Should we pick up some hitchhikers along the way? And some bear traps! 
say. He was a nice young fella. Grammy, no. Come on, what have you got to lose? This could be your chance. I don't know anything about him. I'm making it happen. Excuse me, young man. Do you have a job? No, Grammy!